Do you want to talk about Harry Potter? Let's talk about Harry Potter. Woohoo. We're also awake today. <laughs> we're not. I feel like we're all a little tired. It's Thursday and we're ready for the week. Okay, so I have not read the book. I have them. I have not read them yet, but I have seen all the movies. Oh, interesting. Um, I have them because my husband's read them all. I think I only personally own two of them. And they're softbacks, but not hardbacks. And I have seen all the movies. I have not read them, although I think I've read the first three. Hmm. Okay. Liz? My dog's barking. Um, I have read them all. I read them all as they came out. Um, I was the person who got, like, some of the books, like, the day they came out at the bookstore when that was a thing. Um, so I read them all then. I read reread them since then once or twice, and I've seen all the movies. And I've also read the other one, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, and then all of J.K. Rowling's other books. So I've just read them all this year and watched all the movies this year. Yes, Kelly? Had you read them before this year? Mm -hmm. This was your first round reading them. Well, in like fourth grade, one of our teachers read the first one. But other than that, no, I've never read them before. And Did then when you watched the movies this year, was that your first time seeing them? We watched them with our cousin, Stephen John. We watched the one, I think the second one we watched was Stephen John. Was I there? I wasn't there. I don't remember. It was in Burlington. I feel like this they seems had a party and we weren't invited. No, this seems familiar to me too. Yeah, we watched Did that. Does this have a cast on her foot? I don't remember, but I do remember watching it with them. So I've seen one of the movies for sure. I don't remember if I've seen the first one or not. Did you purposely not like watch most of the series because you wanted to read it first? Yes. Smart. Okay, so since you're the most fresh person who's read them, see the movies, what did you like better, book or movie? Um, I like the book better. As a whole? Yeah, there is only one book I did not like. So I was like totally obsessed with them. I set book five and then Liz disagrees with me. She's like, I disagree so much. I hated Umbridge. Is this the first time that's ever happened? Yeah, probably. Well, what would you rate them overall? Like, what would your rating of Harry Potter be? Me? Yeah. I rated them A plus in my book rating thing. Okay, Liz? A plus also. I will say that I think that the only other one I've rated A plus is like a Quarter of Thorns and Roses. And I, I think that Quarter of Thorns and Roses would be above Harry Potter. Mostly because of like my age now. I just feel like that storyline like resonates a lot more with me. Like, yeah. It's more adult. <clears throat> Kelly? I would give it an A. I think people of all ages can enjoy this book or movie or this, um, what is this called? Uh, world or like yeah. series? Yeah, I don't know. Um, like, I feel like the parents are okay watching, you know, you have those movies that your kid watches and you're like, oh, and some are like, I mean, it was fine for everyone to watch. Mm -hmm. so. Okay, I also rated an A. We're too similar today. Um, mainly because I really appreciated the fact that J.K. Rowling took things from book one that carried over throughout the entire series. Like the whole series, the whole story was complete. I don't, Thing. I didn't feel like she left any uh, loose ends, which really frustrate me in books where you're like, wait, what happened to that one thing you were like building up? Um, there was nothing, nothing like that. I thought it was a complete story and really intriguing how it all unfolded. So Great. it was impressive. So I have a question for everyone. Who was your favorite character? 
Madeline. Me? Oh, yes. Yeah. You put me on the spot. I'm going to have to say the Weasleys. I liked Ron, but I also like goofy people. And he was just <laughs> goofy. The whole family dynamic is, they're just, just fun. Wanted to spend time with them. Like, couldn't you, don't you think it'd just be fun to vacation with the Weasleys? Mm-hmm. So I'd have to go with him. And I didn't think he, I thought Harry was a little annoying at times, kind of whiny. Um, and then Hermione came off, um, though I liked her character. Sometimes, you know, she was a little too type A. But Ron was just, I don't know, I always kind of liked I her. liked, I liked her as she got older. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But, I mean, whatever. Really like her as a person, though. Emma Watson, she seems awesome. But She's so pretty, too. I know. It's frustrating. Anyway, Liz. Andrea, who's your favorite? Almost my favorite. I even wrote that in my, like, little review journal. Because there are some times where I just burst out laughing at the stupid things <laughs> he says. Like, they're all talking about these hot guys, and they're like, he's so tall. And Ron's like, I'm tall. So I'm like, I just burst out laughing. I thought it was hilarious. I was like, oh my god, Ron is my favorite. Mm-hmm. Kelly, who's your favorite? Um, well, I don't remember. There's so many characters that come in and out, you know? And there's a lot of people I don't know the names of because I never got, like, super into this stuff. But my husband makes us do a Harry Potter marathon for Christmas. I don't know why it's a Christmas thing for him but we do star wars for christmas <laughs> um i do like snape i like the... <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> what but like why <laughs> i also like the janitor guy with the cat like he's always just like all oh, these kids oh, yeah. are messing up my floors you know he's always so crabby um i like I don't know. Like I found Snape to be interesting, and he's just always hating on Harry and stuff. I don't know. The Weasleys are great, and I'm sure there's other people that come in the later books, but or the later movies and books. But I probably um, like Voldemort the best. <laughs> he reminds me of my dad <laughs> a little bit, but um, my dad has a nose, so it's fine. Like, um, oh shoot! I forgot to watch his face. <laughs> Oh, that's fun. Sorry, Tom. Um, no, there's a lot of people I like. Uh, the one that sticks out the most to me, I don't know that I like him the best, but he's the most memorable was like Snape. Um, I don't know, he wears black all the time. He always seems kind of mopey. But. Kelly's going to pick any character that always wears black. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think it's a thing. Like, if they're like, she was dressed in all black. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I don't know why, though. It's not like I wear all black all the time, anyway. That's funny. I read a thing that said, uh, whatever character you like most is the one that you most relate to or the one that you're most like. So, <laughs> I hate You know what? Me and him like... actually kind of look alike. <laughs> yeah. I put, like, a black cloak on and put my hair down, parted down the middle, and was like, Harry, are you supposed to be all? <laughs> Fred and George Weasley, they're my favorite. <laughs> Why? Snarky so pranksters funny. always breaking the rules. They're hilarious. Okay, this dif- uh, disputes, maybe that's not the right word, um, disrupts your plan or your what you just said about your favorite being like someone similar to who you are because you're not a prankster at all. Yeah. You don't ever prank. I'm sorry. I think, I mean, but sometimes she's mean, but she laughs. And we used yeah. to prank you guys all the time. We were just... Yeah, Madeline, where were you for our childhood? <laughs> no, like, they were like me not pranking. I do little <laughs> things to Brian all the time that bother him. Like he hates it. Like when I like hide his socks or like if I move his socks, so I purposely do it to like piss him off. Or I sneak up behind him when he's not paying attention and I get right in his ear and like say something really loud. He like yelled at me one last week. He hates I'll it. I'll put like a second on the microwave and leave it and it'll bother Corey all day. <laughs> there was like a filter alarm going off today and instead of changing the filter, he just held the button down so the light would go away. 
<laughs> okay, okay. In next week's video, it's going to be weird stuff we do to our <laughs> husbands to make them mad for no reason. Yeah, it's really fun. It's going to be a long video. <laughs> yeah, right? We're going to give away all our secrets. Um, <laughs> um, while we're talking about ridiculousness, we can get back to Harry Potter. You know what I think is stupid about Harry Potter? What? Is it a spoiler? Yeah. Ooh, let's do spoilers. Okay. Andrea, you're always slow on the spoiler. Andrea hates it. Sorry, I think it's so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> what would you rather do? Just, uh, spoilers. Here, <laughs> here they are. Take it or leave it. <laughs> Go for it. Spoil shit. <laughs> See if you guys agree, but I think that Dumbledore is an asshole because oh he. Oh my god, yes. Yeah, it's stupid. First of all, he like leaves Harry with the Dursleys and he knows it's a bad situation, but he's just like, meh, right? Like, yeah, he has to stay with Petunia because of the curse, or not curse, but like the protection spell. But like, Dumbledore could have sent him a letter, stopped by and said hello, sent someone to see if he was okay. Nothing. Um, then the other thing is Dumbledore continues to put him in these horribly dangerous situations all of the time. Also, while hypothesizing and thinking that Harry might be a horcrux, and he keeps doing this and never lets him in on anything, and it's weird. A lot of um, the Harry Potter, like, dilemmas that Harry gets into could easily be solved by, like, one simple conversation um, with good, concise communication between, like, three people. And then it could all be done. But, you know, you know, and then Harry's always on the brink of death. And then somehow he's always fine. Never a broken leg. Nothing. Just fine. Oh, broke his arm once. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. When he's, like, in the hospital bed. He'd, like, been asleep for, I don't know, whatever. It's just, like... Of course, Harry saves the day, and everybody's like, oh, Harry. I totally understand why Draco was like, let's destroy this kid. <laughs> I totally get it. I think I'm that... always a spoiler. Right? <laughs> probably, I'm always going to tell myself I'm not, but I probably am. Uh, I love this, or not love. I find it fascinating, the theory that the other kid, uh, I forget his name. Neville. Out. Neville could have been Harry. Is that a fan theory or was that? No. No, it's, it's real. It's real. What? It's Did in you the book. Kelly? Someone explain it better than me. Yeah. Go Andrew. There were, so they, there were two kids who were born in a certain year, right? And they were going to be the one that has to defeat Voldemort. And they both, Neville and Harry, had the same qualifications. But Voldemort picked Harry and gave him the scar and marked him. So that made him the chosen one. The horror crux. Yeah. But Neville could have been because they were born at the same time. And they had the same, was, what was the, it was something with the parents too. Yeah, it was like a, the prophecy said that this one specific kid, based on these qualifications, is going to be the one to defeat the Dark Lord. And yeah. I forget exactly what the details were, right? But it's what Andrea said. It was either Voldemort or Voldemort. It was either Neville or Harry fulfilled those qualifications. Yeah, it was like a boy born in this month to these parents. I almost kind of wish it was Neville. Oh, I, yeah. would have been so I did too. I liked him a lot better. I thought he was more realistic. Whereas like Harry always confidently out of the nick of time, even though he never thought of the idea. You know what I mean? I just thought, I just think he got lucky too many times and he was like kind of arrogant about it. I was like, oh, I have this like, Did you not like Harry Potter? <laughs> <laughs> no, I like Harry. He's fine. We'd be totally, yeah, he's fine. He's cool. I just think he's kind of. I think he is a little whiny at times. Yeah. I'm totally whiny. Yeah, he's like 
but then it's kind of hard to say like okay he's whining but in some of these he's like 12. so yeah i yeah i guess i didn't when you go back and you well and we see them the actors out in like the real world and they're like what are they i don't know how old they are but and then you forget how young they actually were in the first movie and you're like oh my god but um yeah i mean and hindsight's always 2020 and every time you like look back at a whole series you can pick apart and critique and da, da, da. the whole thing's very entertaining it was i think this book these books are mainly geared toward towards kids so it's like um it makes sense that it gets scary but it's it's all okay i mean mm -hmm. minus yeah. some of the people that die but you know, you can't have the main character die. In a Maybe it would have been a better story. Well, yeah, but then it would have been geared towards, like, older people. That's true. Can I imagine Steve's face if they were like, and then Harry died. <laughs> he would have been like, what? It would have been like Game of Thrones, right? Yeah. That's true. War and Peace. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Um... I do have a travel suggestion for anyone who likes Harry Potter. They, you can go to the cafe in Edinburgh, Scotland. It's where J.K. Rowling wrote the first book, I think, where she wrote the books. That's awesome. It's called The White Elephant, maybe? It's something elephant, but I went there um, with my friend Marlou, and it was kind of cool. I think they had a plaque outside. I'm not sure. It's awesome. I think that's the trip where you bought me this book. The yes. British version of Harry Potter, the first one. Do you read it in an accent, Lass? Sure. <laughs> the British version. You have to. Yeah. Oh. And every it's the Philosopher's Stone. It's not the Sorcerer's Stone. So. Oh. Also, I think it would be funny if they redid Harry Potter today and you found out um, how much shorter the books were because there was so much stuff that you could solve by just Googling it. Like they spend a whole school year trying to find out who Nicholas Flamel is, right? Like, <laughs> like Google could tell you in two seconds, Harry. Like, right? Also they searched like Godric's Hollow for stuff too, right? Like, yeah. okay. Like, for the Deathly Hollows. Yeah, Google Maps, right? <laughs> like the cool fairy tales, you're fine. Or they're always like, where's Harry? Hurry, the troll is coming. But like text. My yeah. friends yeah. <laughs> Or put yeah. my friends on Harry. <laughs> <laughs> he wears a tile on his backpack. We're good. <laughs> you know, like ping, ping his phone, you know? Oh, I read God. this like awesome like thing online, like meme that was like how it would have been so much better if Harry would have just like applied like muggle solutions to all of the hard problems like i was kind of disappointed he didn't do that right google would be one but like other things too also another funny thing that i read see if you guys find this entertaining voldemort kills people and creates the horcruxes because he wants to live like a super long time right mm -hmm. actuality voldemort dies at like 60 or 70 right like he could have just exercised regularly and drank a lot of water and he would have lived longer that's crazy. Did you send this to me the other day? Yeah, it's yeah, hilarious. I thought you it's did. Like, it's like, <laughs> like Voldemort's wasting all his time killing people, turning things into snakes, right? Like he, or like turning snakes into Horcruxes, right? Like just like exercise, you know, eat right. Question. Okay, did he want to like rule anything? He just wanted to live forever. He didn't want to become okay. like ruler of the land. He wanted to be like a powerful wizard. Okay. Yeah, for the dark side. Because I was oh, thinking Darth Vader. <laughs> you know that word. I was thinking him too. <laughs> Very similar. <laughs> Read these books and watch Star Wars at the same time. You'll be like, what? That's Andrea. right. You were telling us, Andrea. There's like these very similar storylines. Yeah, with Voldemort and Anakin and Darth Vader. I have Thanks. never read Star Wars or seen the movies. Star Wars is not a book, man. <laughs> that might be why I haven't read it. <laughs> but there, there are books or comics 
Yeah, they were made after, well, I don't know if the comics were, but they have books now that were made based on the movies. 